Right guys, welcome back to Open Source Options. A couple weeks ago I posted a short video that showed an animated web map and I told you we'd have a tutorial on how to make that web map and that's what we're going to start working on today. Now this might take more than one video to do. We're going to try to do it in one but it might take two if it comes to that. So the process is we're first going to load up some aerial imagery to display on our web map, and then we're going to write up a couple of functions that randomly place points and animate those points on that map. So if you haven't watched the videos on how to set up an Open Layers project yet, I suggest you do that. Um, they're included in this Open Layers playlist. And what you should have right now is from similar videos, you should have um, a project that looks something like this. You should have your libraries installed um, for open layers. So you should have these files in your libs folder. Uh, and you should have this version of open layers. Any version will probably work. You don't need to have this data folder. That was from our last uh, tutorial. And then you need to have index.html, script.js, and style.css. If you don't have the script, that's OK. We're not going to use this script for this lesson. We are going to create another script. And let's go ahead and do that first thing. So I want to create a new script in my root folder here. In example, I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call it animate.js. All right, and that gives me a new JavaScript file. I'm actually going to close script.js so it's not in the way. And in index.html, I want to come over there and I want to change the script we're referencing to animate. All right, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So now we're calling this animate script in our web map, but we have not yet added any code here. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to set up a base map for this map. And we're going to use some satellite or some aerial imagery for this. The source is going to be from Esri. And there are going to be a few things we need to do here uh, in order to follow Esri's terms of use, we just need to act, give Esri the attribution for the imagery, and we'll get to that here in just a minute. All right, so the, for the first thing I want to do is I want to make a variable. We're going to call this tile layer. And it is going to equal a new ol.layer.tile. And then we need to give it the list of variables for it, essentially. And we're going to have to do a source. And this is going to be a new ol.source.xyz. And then here's we're going to have to give it um, some more attributes. And this is where we give it the Esri attributions. So we're going to type in attributions. And I'm going to copy and paste because I don't want to type the whole thing out, okay? So I'm going to copy and paste this over here. Um, so there you go. You can see it's the first one. It's a list powered by Esri. And then we have this source, Esri Digital Globe, GOI, Earth Star, Geographics, Airbus, USDA, USGS, right? So we have a big source of, of data sources for this imagery there. All right. Um, and then... We're going to add attributions collapsible, and we're going to say false. That means the attributions will stay on the map so that the people who and organizations that put this map together will get attributed for their work. And I need to make sure I put a comma after that there so we don't get any errors. All right, and now... Um, I need to specify the URL, and I've copied that as well. It's going to be HT. I'm going to get, try to get the whole thing on there. We got close to all of it. So HTTPS services.arcgisonline.com, and then ArcGIS REST services world imagery map server tile ZYX. All right. So that gives you the URL there, and then we're going to set. Uh, our max zoom to 23 and that should be all we need for the source. Let's go ahead and make sure we save our animate JS. All right. So we've got that there. I'm going to make sure that I have everything closed up. 
and it looks like I indeed do. All right. So now we need to make the map. So let's do var map equals new ol dot map. And here we're going to specify layers, give it a list, and we just need to give it tile layer. That's the only layer we have for now. So let's go ahead and give it that. Um, and we're going to need to give it a view. So we have to, I don't know why this thing keeps following me around here. That's fine. Okay, so we're going to have to give this a view here to show where our map is, which we can do this with new ol dot view, and we can specify a center, which we can set to zero zero, and then we can specify a zoom as one, and that should set up our view. Now we also need to give this a target, so we have to tell it where to show the map. We come back to index.html, you can see we have this div ID map here, and so we're going to set our target for the map to map. Now let's go ahead and save our animate.js. And we'll add a comma here. We'll go ahead and we'll say save. And now what we should have happen is we should be able to see this web map. So let's right click over here and we can do open with our live server. And that'll open it up. And we've got a problem with our map. So if we right click and inspect, you can see that we have OLView is not a constructor. Looks like that's on line 14. Um, and maybe I typed something incorrectly in there. So let me just double check that. And so sure enough, this needs to be a capital V. So let's save that. Let's run back over to our web page. Let's try to refresh this. And we have ol.map is not a constructor on line 11 now. Um, so we're looking here, and let me just double check that again. Once again, I did not capitalize map when I should have, so let's capitalize map. Let's save that. Let's run back over to our live server, and there you can see that we have a web map. Now you can see that our web map here, it's narrow. Um, using the example I did for the previous video, which was on a which was a vertical video. So let's go back and let's adjust our CSS to make sure that everything is good. And we can do our width as 100%. Let's save that CSS, head back over. We can refresh our live server. And there you can see we've got that map covering uh, our page. And we can zoom in and zoom out and pan around. All right, so that gives us our map, and now we need to write the code that's going to create the points at random and animate them on the map. All right, so what we need to do is we need to create a new source to put these points we're going to create in, and then we need to create a vector layer which is going to display that source on our map. All right, so let's create those two variables. So let's do var source equals new ol dot source okay and we're just going to leave that empty for now and here we're going to go var vector equals new ol dot layer dot vector let's double check to make sure I have that right but here we're going to specify our source as sorry as colon source all right, so we've created the source. We're going to add points to this source, and we're going to display those points in this vector layer um, on our map, okay? Because we can't display a source by itself. We have to display that source as a layer, so we've created an OL layer, and it's a vector layer because these are points. All right, and I have to specify what source it is. It's a vector source. You can do source dot vector. My apologies for missing that. Go ahead and save your animate.js. 
Um, we can run back over to our live server just to make sure things still work. We didn't break anything with that code. Looks like we're all good. Okay, so we have those things set up. So we can add this layer to our map and then we can style the layer. And that's what we're probably going to end this video for today and we'll pick it back up next time. But we can do map dot add layer and we want to add the vector layer. Okay, so that'll add it to our map. And I apologize for my poor JavaScript here. I have not done a good job of putting semicolons at the end of statements. I am too used to Python, so let's go ahead and fix that so we are syntactically correct. Now let's create a style for these points we're going to create. So let's do new points, or sorry, let's do a var point style. And this is going to be a new ol dot style dot style. Okay. And we're going to define the style here for uh, these points. And so for this point style, we're going to define an image. Not, a, not an image um, is in a picture for the style, an image of what the style looks like. And this is going to be a new ol.style.circle. And inside the circle, we're going to define some things. We're going to define a radius. That's going to be a size. I'm going to start with 5. We're going to define a fill. And that's going to be... Um, a new, I'll have to double check, but I guess new ol.style.fill. And we'll fill in the um, specifics there. And then we're going to define a stroke, which will be a new ol.style.stroke. And I might have to double check and, and change those stroke and fill styles just a little bit, make sure I have the correct uh, calls there. All right, but that's how we can set up the radius. Be, the radius will be the size of the circle. The fill will define the style and color of the fill for the circle, and the stroke will define the outline of that uh, circle style. Okay, so it looks like things are good here. I'm going to come down and put a semicolon before I forget about it down there. And so within our fill, we're only going to define a color. So we're going to give it a color. Um, and then we're going to give it, it's going to be an RGB color, which we'll do red. So to do that, we just uh, give it RGB, red, 255, zero, zero. And now for the stroke, we're going to define the color, which will also be red, um, and then a width. So our color is going to be the same thing, RGB, 255, zero, zero. And then we're going to do a width, which we're going to do a 0 0.5 for now. All right, so that sets up our style. Go ahead and save your animate.js right there. Um, and then I'm going to go just to the live server. We'll just click refresh and make sure we don't have any errors when we inspect. Um, things look clean, so we're good to go there. Okay, so so far we've set up our base map and we've set up our style for our points. We have not yet added any points to this map, and in the next video, we're going to go over uh, how to do that. So thanks for watching. I hope you're finding this useful. Uh, it's kind of fun to do something different, do a little bit of WebGIS uh, instead of Python programming and QGIS all the time. So it's been fun to bring these tutorials to you, and I hope you're finding them useful. And thanks for sticking with me with my uh, beginning and rudimentary JavaScript and HTML CSS skills here.